One of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people make before big esports tournaments is they will actually warm up too much before a big tournament or game. This can be really problematic because of the fact that if you've trained way too much right the same day, you could be out of really your peak performance zone that you want to be in when you're playing a big game. Especially if you notice when you're training for a long time, there's usually a duration of time that really you can be at your peak performance. And you want to be in that as much as possible when you're actually going into your tournament. So what I would personally suggest is leading up to the tournament, you try to get as much rest as possible. And it might be difficult to sleep the night before. So really the next day, maybe you spend a little extra time sleeping. Maybe you do need to sleep in just a little bit extra. Maybe you need to spend some more time relaxing. You could maybe do stuff like sauna. You could get a massage. There's float tanks. You could really put a high emphasis before a big tournament or game to get that type of relaxation and just calming and rest really in place before the big game. Hi, my name is Bryce Silbert. I work with some of the best Madden players in the world. I help them optimize their health and their life. And today I want to share with you some of the best strategies that I use to help them prepare for big tournaments. And a lot of these guys, they're competing in tournaments that have prize pools even as high as $250,000. I have a client who has won a similar caliber of championship for that kind of a prize pool. And there's a lot of ways that you can start to implement some of these practices that they use into whatever sort of competition or tournament you're doing. Maybe it's esports, or even myself, I've done public competition speaking, and I've also done some video game competitions myself. So I have a varied amount of experience when it comes to these types of tournaments. So going off of the first tip there, I think it's essential that you should be really well trained and really confident in your abilities to perform. You don't want to go into a tournament feeling like you need to practice in the last minute in order to actually perform well. Really the months and you know sometimes even years potentially leading into these types of competitions you want to be building in a really high quality training routine, which is something that I'll cover in future videos as well, if that's something that you're interested in. And really what you can also do here is start mapping out a good strategy for your tournament. Now, depending on what your tournament might look like, what your opponents might look like, it would be good to you know, get a feel for what it's going to be like to compete. Are you going to be competing on a stage? Are you going to be competing, you know, over Zoom? There's all sorts of different ways that you can be competing these days. So really trying to map out a strategy that's going to fit that. Now you can do some things like monitoring the competition. You can look at past competitions to get a good idea of how they might actually play out and get an idea of the types of strategies and things that other people have done in the past that have been successful to win that type of a tournament. One of the other big things that I found personally helpful when I was doing public speaking competitions was reframing my anxiety into excitement. These are both high energy states. It's really difficult to go from being anxious to just being calm. I know that's one of the ways that people like to try to calm people down. They go, oh, calm down. Maybe you're too anxious for something. It really doesn't work. That's kind of a hard state to get out of, especially when you feel that pressure going into a big tournament. So the closest emotion that you can get into is actually excitement. And it's a very similar feeling. It's really interesting what this will do to you before you get into a big tournament like this. Because when you start to reframe how you're feeling into excitement, you're excited to see how this game is going to play out. You're excited to play against, you know, high quality people. You're excited to demonstrate your skills. You're excited to win. And having this excitement is going to be a lot different than having anxiety, especially when you're feeling maybe doubtful or worried 
or worried that you might mess up. You maybe you forget a word, you forget, you know, a certain strategy that you've been building up. Reframing this to excitement is really going to help just keep you energized and motivated throughout the tournament. And it's something that really you just have to reframe within your mind. Really go to an area where you start to just feel more excited. Another big way that you can do this before a tournament is actually to try to do something harder than what you're actually going to be doing in your competition. So if it's an esports tournament, try to find another player who you can actually play who's going to be better than the one that you're going to be playing in the tournament. This is going to help so much with calming you down and building confidence before you go play. But let's say you're doing something like public speaking, or maybe it's going to be your first time playing games on a camera even. Maybe go out, do some Toastmasters, do something that kind of puts you out of your comfort zone and puts you in a similar position that's potentially more difficult than the one that you would be facing in your tournament. And this is going to really help bring those anxiety levels down. Now, when it comes to some questions that you could potentially ask yourself before the tournament, one of the best ones is just really, how can I prepare for this tournament? Really sit down and think, go over some of the strategies I've covered here, go review some footage of past tournaments, go look at other people who compete in these tournaments and really sit down and just contemplate what would actually make a huge difference in one of these tournaments. And then of course, how do other people prepare for this tournament? That kind of follows in with the first question, but this is a little bit more specific on that exact idea. Take the time to actually really study and then contemplate what are other people doing that's making them successful in these types of tournaments that you can do and replicate yourself. I want to wish you the best of luck with your esports tournament or whatever competition you have. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button if you found any of these tips helpful, and please leave me a comment down below on what tips and strategies you liked best, and maybe some strategies that you personally use that you didn't hear here. Have a great day.